This video is to go over how to copy your settings from EVE Tranquility Server to the EVE Singularity Server. It's actually pretty simple and it's only going to take about a moment. So first things first is you want to load up uh, your current EVE settings folder which is going to be located in your app data on your local system. Uh, so what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to do start run and then type in this specific address. So percent local app data and percent slash ccp slash EVE. Um, there are other settings. This is for Windows 7 users. Uh, if you are on Windows XP or if you're on a, uh, a, another operating system, there's a nice website that actually on the EVE Online Wiki that has this information listed in it. Uh, so if you are on Windows 7, it is just your user profile, so percent user profile, slash local settings, application data, then CCP, then EVE. Um, obviously, if you've got either of these other items, so if you're on Steam, it's going to be in this location, uh, and you're on Windows Vista Steam, which I would hope you weren't, uh, then you're on this location. So for those of us that are on Windows 7, it's going to be here. If you're running Windows XP, it's going to be here. Uh, chances are also, if you're running this in Wine or on Sedega, that it is also going to be in the Windows XP settings, because most of the Sedega's uh, interfaces use Windows XP. All right. so. As we have this loaded up, once I press OK, it's actually going to bring me to this folder here. So if you notice, it's going to be my name slash the application data slash local CCP Eve. Uh, be careful because you don't want this to be roaming or roaming low or any of the other items. What we need to pull here is there's actually quite a few different areas uh, that we have <clears throat> our Eve settings in. So we need to determine as to where Eve is actually installed. So this is going to look different for everybody. I know that Eve is actually installed to C program files x86 CCP, then Eve, and then Tranquility. The way I know that is if I open up my computer under the C drive and I go to program files x86, since I'm running 64 bit Windows, this is my default. If you're running 32 bit Windows, it would be uh, just program files, but you should know that. Then CCP, so here's Eve. And there's all my Eve folders, right? So x86 CCP Eve. That's my installation. So it knows uh, this is my current folder, and then it appends at the end of this the server name. So it knows, okay, well after CCP Eve that I'm connecting to Tranquility, this is my normal working environment. All right. So what I want to do is I want to copy the files from my Eve Tranquility folder here to my Singularity folder. Now I already have CC installed, and CC is currently installed to the same folder root location slash singularity. And then inside of here, it would be appended yet again with the name of the server that it connects to. So if you look here, it's underscore singularity, underscore singularity. I know it sounds redundant, but this is the way that it works. So what I need to do is I need to copy all of my settings from the tranquility folder to my singularity folder. A nice little option here is also that you can determine as to which one is your regular working Eve one by looking at the modified date time because obviously you're going to be changing that on a daily basis or uh, there's going to be some modifications that you've made on, on this so it you know usually is going to be changed at a different rate than the other ones. So if I open up my Tranquility folder there's two uh, folder options. You do not want to move over the cache settings. You only want to do um, your settings folder. So I'm going to open this up, control A to select all, right click, copy. Okay. I'm going to back out and go to my Singularity folder. I'm going to open up the Settings folder, and then I'm just going to right-click, Paste. And this is going to say, OK, well, you've got files in here that are already here currently. So do this for the next eight conflicts, and I want to copy and replace all of them. In addition, there may be folders in which that you're going to want to merge your data. So again, do this for all current items. And yes, I want to merge all the folders. So now I have a nice updated version of my settings. And now the next time that I log into CC, I should have all the same folders and settings and uh, overview settings and other associated information uh, directly within CSA. Okay, hope this works. Thanks.